Hello friends, Kishan is here again and this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial where we had started exploring uh, Java stream reduction method like uh, collect. So we had seen three huge cases of collect method and uh, in first cases in first case just we have converted stream to collection second use case we have reduced to a string we have just convert a stream to a string and third case we had seen average how to calculate the average price so we have a source like product list which contains uh, four object of product as five object of product and in the third use case basically we have uh, calculated average price of all products right average price price of product so this uh, averaging int that is available in uh, collectors utility class if you see averaging there is a method is called averaging int averaging long and averaging double similarly we have a method like uh, if you want to calculate the sum then summing int summing long summing double something like if you want to summarizing then summarizing int summarizing long and summarizing double so summing if you want to calculate some of the all prices of the product this is pretty straightforward so just i'm leaving up to you you can explore it but third method is called uh, i mean summing uh, i mean averaging int uh, we have seen uh, summing int I am leaving up to you to explore it and summing and uh, summarizing int uh, we are going to look because this is very very important method in collector so basically method like averaging summing and summarizing can work as with the primitives like int long double as with their wrapper classes like integer long and double uh, one more powerful feature of the these methods is providing the mapping so developer does not need to use additional map operation before the collect method so collecting a statistical information about a stream elements so that we are going to see and to achieve a statistical information we can make use of summarizing int method so I am going to show you how to uh, what is the huge case of summarizing int uh, if your price is long then you may use uh, summing long and summing if your price is double then summing summarizing double something like that but my product price is int so I am gonna I am gonna use summarizing int so here is the previous example so what I will do I will refactor this code and I extract into a separate method I would say method 1 uh, I'll comment it and rest of the things I'm going to show you over here so here now we are going to go to look into uh, next use cases so we have a product list and here we can call method like a stream and we can make call to the collect method here we are not going to call map method instead we are going to call collectors and we have a api is called summarizing int summarizing int right we have a three flavors summarizing double summarizing int summarizing long so our pri our product price is int so summarizing int i'm going to use and here we want to summarize product colon get price right so using uh, method reference you can call its method like product get price method and if you look into the return type of this statement is called int int summary statistics and if you try to print this value then look at sorry you can print in like this and let me show you the output so 
now this guy is showing output like this int summary is statistics count I mean total product account is showing 5 sum of the price I mean getting sum of I mean price of all product that is saying 86 minimum price of the product is 13 average price is 17.2 that is double and max price of the product is 23 right so by by using the resulting instance of type uh, type uh, in summary a statistics uh, developer can create a, a static statistical report by applying two testing method so basically here you don't need to call two testing method basically when you try to print this object then if you look into this math this class already two testing method is overridden here that's why you are getting statistical information is nice format if right so that's why you are getting uh, this statistical uh, information in nice format the result will be a string common to the to this one right everything getting printed it is also easy to extract from this object separate values for like count some mean average by applying methods like get count get some get mean get average get max all these values can be extracted from a single pipeline so if you look into this class then you have a method like get count get some get mean get max and get average so, so if you want to ex extract these are the individual values then you have a separate method separate getter method for these things right and if you want to print a, st a statistical uh, report then this will get printed like this so I found this is the one of the important feature of uh, uh, stream API that's why I wanted to discuss with you now next thing we are going to look one next use cases over here so here in this example we have seen how to print the a summary of statistics report so basically just we are printing the report of any project uh, product now next thing we are going to collecting is statistical information about the streams elements which already we have seen uh, now uh, we are going to grouping of a streams element according to a specified function so here again I'm going to use so you can you can have a group by uh, function in uh, SQL right in every RDBS we have a function like group by similarly if you look into the stream API then we have a similar functionality so here I'm going to use I'm going to make use of collectors so we have a collectors now collectors as a method is called group by group by and here we are going to pass we want to group based on the sorry product price so we can call method reference and price so we want to group based on the price and basically this API is basically uh, this stream basically uh, redu uh, this system basically reduced to the map which uh, group all products by their price and if you want to print it then you can see what the value of this guy so let's print this map by using enhanced for loop which is the part of sorry so I have cut and paste so for and we can make use of for each and here this is asking you to supply value for uh, object of by consumer as a lambda expression so I'm going to specify object of by consumer 
in the form of lambda expression so we have a key value pairs in math so key we can denote by k and value by v and here i'm going to specify lambda sign and here you can print key value and as well as value value is nothing but the product and when you try to print value product then in product i have already uh, overridden this two string method so if i print value of this then see the output now basically here we are grouping by the price of the product so look at look at here so we have a grouped by price so uh, i mean uh, price of 23 there are two product right there are two product let me show you the output clearly so here is the source code and price you can see so here price of 23 there are two product right potatoes as well as bread price of 23 now second price of 13 there are two products lemon as well as sugar and price of 14 we have orange so this is basically grouped by based on the product price so this is the next huge case of uh, collect method and here basically this method has been declared in the collector utility class that is called grouped by and here you will have to specify the property uh, on which you want to uh, group uh, group if you want to perform the uh, group by functionality so this may be a make sure that this is a number type nothing like a string then grouping would be difficult right so that's all i want to do so in this video tutorial in next video series we'll see some more use cases of i mean stream collector api like collect method and I hope you enjoyed learning this video. Thanks for watching this video.